Hi, welcome to Make It With Tim. I'm Tim and today I'm going to be showing you how I got rid of a dusty, smelly cupboard smell and made it smell beautiful and ready to use. When my wife and I bought this house, there were cigarette smell, nicotine stains all over the house. So we've cleaned it down, we've washed it out, we've stain blocked it and we've repainted and it's looking great and smelling wonderful. Unfortunately, there are a couple of places in the house that still have a real kind of what I can only describe as dusty smell. This cupboard is one of them. So what I'm about to show you is what I've already done to a cupboard upstairs and it now smells great. So stick around and I'll show you how I sorted this problem. The cupboard's walls and ceiling have now all been washed with sugar soap and then rinsed down with water. When I was washing around the sockets and anything electrical, I made sure that the power was off because electricity and water just don't mix. So please stay safe. If you don't know what you're doing, ask somebody who does. Now we're on to the painting, which is far more exciting, but the preparation is incredibly important. So this is not a product placement. This is exactly what we used. I'm not getting any uh, affiliation or any money, any advertising for this, but just so that you know uh, what I used in here and what worked for us is this. So uh, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce the name, but I say Zinza. So it's the Zinza bin um, stain block. It dries in 15 minutes, which is great because by the time I've been around once, I can go around a second time. Um, and then I can start putting on my coats of normal paint. So let's get to it. First things first, I put down some drop cloths and then got to the paint. This particular stain block is very runny, so I gave it a really good mix before pouring it out into my paint tray. So the eternal question, do you cut in around the edges and then paint the middle? Or do you paint the middle and then cut in around the edges? Let me know in the comments below what you do. I personally prefer to cut in around the edges and then paint the middle. So I painted the walls and the ceiling with two coats of stain block. And as it only took 15 minutes for the first coat to dry, I was able to just go around twice, one after the other. As you can see, I'm wearing a respirator. The reason I'm wearing the respirator is because I was in a cupboard with no airflow and this particular paint is, is actually very smelly when you are using it. So uh, I didn't want to breathe in too many noxious fumes. And then it was time to put the top coats on. For the ceiling, I used a brilliant white with a silk finish. The silk finish gives you a bit more reflective light than a matte and less than a gloss. I then painted the ceiling with its top coat. As you can see, I've got an Artex ceiling here. This just means it's bobbled. And as a result, I needed to use a thicker pile on the roller to make sure I got into all the gaps. I also went one way with the roller and then went 90 degrees across the same area. This just helped make sure that I had got the paint evenly spread across all the bubbles. Once I'd painted the ceiling, it was time to paint the walls. For the walls, I used a good quality matte finish paint. As you might be able to see in the video, it's a slightly off-white, but essentially it's white, which means the cupboard is nice and bright. Once I'd finished the top coat on all the walls and ceiling, I needed to let the paint dry. For me, that meant overnight. So instead of washing out my rollers and paintbrush, using all that water and taking all that time, I use this trick that I got from my parents. If you wrap everything up in clean film, it stops it from drying out and you can just do all the cleaning at the end of the job instead of in between each coat. Day two. Today, all I need to do is put the top coat on and we're finished. Let's get going. More video of me painting, yay! You don't need to see me do this all again, so let's cut to the end and see what happened. We're all done. I washed the walls, put the stain block on, and put the top coats on, the walls and the ceiling. As you can see, I've still got these marks from the face mask, so you have to excuse me. The uh, painting a, a small confined space, lots of fumes, so I didn't really wanna be breathing all that in. So, I hope you've learned something new. Um, if you've got any advice or experience about getting rid of uh, smells in cupboards like we had, then please uh, leave a comment below and I and other people can learn from your experience. Also, if you like what you've seen, please uh, click on that subscribe button and hit that bell. 
and we'll see you next time. Stay safe and have fun.